Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I will start today, and the staff will follow. So we have a guest today, and without further ado, let's start. The President of the General Assembly, Mr. Dennis Francis, chaired a plenary meeting this morning on the use of the veto cost on the 28th of March at the Security Council meeting in connection with the item entitled Non-Proliferation Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The permanent representative of the Russian Federation, His Excellency Vasily Nebenzia, was the first member state to speak and explained the veto cast by his country. As of this morning, the list of speakers had 49 names. The UN Journal tells us that the meeting will continue at 3 p.m. today. And in his opening remarks, President Dennis Francis spoke about entrenched divisions within the Council that undermine our collective efforts towards peace and security and encourage member states to not treat the debate as merely as a procedural necessity, but as an opportunity to reinforce the indispensability of transparency and accountability to the entire UN membership to ensure that the responsible use of the veto power. Mr. Francis highlighted that the situation in the Korean Peninsula is disquieting, to say the least, and it demands, the situation, an urgent commitment to de-escalate tensions and a renewed pledge to cultivate an atmosphere conducive to genuine dialogue and authentic cooperation. More on the PJ's remarks on his website, www.un.org stroke PGA stroke 78. And the last note for today. This afternoon, President Dennis Francis will go to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange to grant an interview of the upcoming, or on the upcoming, Sustainability Week, which will take place from 15 to 19 April at the General Assembly Hall. The PJ will be interviewed by FinTech TV and meet the president of the New York Stock Exchange, Ms. Lynn Martin. The Sustainability Week logo will be displayed at the trading floor for the time of the interview. And as many of you know now, on Tuesday 9th April, President Dennis Francis rang the bell at NASDAQ market site with his team to promote Sustainability Week. The PJ was received at NASDAQ by Ms. Nina Eisenman, Vice President and Head of Corporate ESG Strategy and Reporting. In his remarks before ringing the bell, President Francis said that he hoped the moment would also bring the dawn of a new 21st century era in which sustainability constitutes a priority for the global economy. The Sustainability Week logo and the information of the events were also showcased at the NASDAQ Tower. By now, you know already the Choose Sustainability hashtag is our campaign. The full preliminary program will be sent later today, let's say by COB for you, for your uh, mailing, uh, for, to our mailing list, so to your um, mailboxes. And this is everything for today. We will not be here tomorrow. We will return on Monday when Sustainability Week kicks off. So you will receive our updates via email or on the PJ's social media accounts. Any questions here or on the screen uh, on anything for this week or next week? Uh, so if I don't see anyone on the screen, I don't see anyone on the screen, I would say thank you so much. I will see you on Monday. Oh, I see you around before that. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.